Welcome to the Mother of Wands channel. My name is Volami and this is the Daily Energetic Musings where I go over the astrology cards, crystals, and a little channeled message with you guys each and every single day. So today's December 26th. It is a Thursday and today we're mainly feeling the effects of last night's uh, solar eclipse is a partial solar eclipse and of course I'm always talking in Mountain Standard Time so for those of you guys on the East Coast or anywhere east of that um, this was happening early in the morning of the 26th for you guys but since I'm talking about Mountain Standard Time this actually started last night of the 25th so if you want more details about that solar eclipse go to yesterday's video check that out it's pretty on point with all of that but remember that this is a series of Cancer and Capricorn eclipses that began back in July of 2018 and they're gonna end in July of 2020 and this is where we currently have the north and south nodes right this is the parallel governing the past lives and the karma that we've uh, accumulated there and where we're headed in the future so this is a very powerful time around these eclipses for removing cords from the past of course and also for um, being open to manifesting where we're headed and the future that we want based on our true, actual, true, authentic selves and desires and not based in fear or just wanting to fit in, things like that. So this is a time where we can truly shift timelines and we can be in control of either shifting to where we desire or we can be in control of holding ourselves back and the repercussions of landing in that timeline. Either way, this is a time where we're shifting timelines. It's just no way around it. Between this eclipse and the lunar eclipse happening on January 10th and the conjunction, Saturn-Pluto conjunction happening on January 12th, this is a major eclipse. And between these two eclipses is the portal that's going to usher us into landing in that new time zone or new timeline time zone on um, the 12th once we have that conjunction. Keep in mind that those planets... Um, Pluto and Saturn are now just one degree apart, so we are really feeling it. So this is a major, major time. Um, again, go back and check out yesterday's video if you want more details on the eclipse, but for today's card, quite frankly, like half the deck flew out, but I only took this one because it actually landed on a table and the rest like landed on the floor and it was like 20 of them and no way. So this one actually makes a lot of sense to be coming up. This one is seven of wands reverse. This is what I affectionately <laughs> call the cowards card. As you can see, this guy, not a coward. He is getting it. What does he want? He, he's standing up for it. He is working for it. He is going to make sure he gets what he wants. Reversed, not so much, bit spineless, right? So this is asking you, what are you afraid of? Where are you not standing your ground? Because now it's hard to say, of course, because this is general and you know only one card, what area of life this is gonna be, but this that's for you to assess, right? So what actions and thoughts, things like that, do you need to be doing now that you aren't? Um, where can you apply yourself more, right? This isn't a time to quit. This is a time to persevere and grow a backbone because this card reminds us that it's not gonna be as bad as we think. If we have to break up with someone, if we have to go our own way, if we have to have a confrontational conversation, if we have to quit our job, if we have to X, Y, Z, this card coming up like this is reminding us that once we actually get there, it's not gonna be that challenging. It's gonna be one of those things like, why did I put this off for so long? It was more challenging dealing with it than it was fixing it, right? And so that's really the thing we want to remember with this card. Um, with today's cosmic question, very similar. It's what areas of life could you benefit from applying more effort, right? And looking at what areas do you really want to transform between now and that January 12th conjunction? Because this is a major, major, major time. So asking yourself, what timeline do I want to end up on? And what do I need to get myself there? Because now is the time to do it. We only have a little bit of time left. Want to make sure you get in line with what you want to be moving forward with. This is a major time. You have to understand that these are some of the largest astrological events that we will be seeing in our lives. That's just the way it is. Um, if you go look at any astrologers on the internet, you're going to see all of us are talking about this. And most of us have been talking about this for years because this is a huge, huge, huge astrological event. I have been looking at and wondering what was going to be coming in and out of my life around these eclipse seasons for years now. And so it's really exciting to see it all coming together. But of course, this card especially is reminding us that we need to put in the footwork, the legwork to actually get there. We can't just like send a letter off to Santa and expect the, the present to come down our chimney at this point. We actually have to go out and make it happen, go out and align ourselves with what we want. So for the crystals today, I'm recommending selenite or um, apophyllite. Now, the reason for this is because both of these crystals are really fantastic gemstones for opening us up to channeling or receiving higher knowledge. 
So both of these stones are great for using with dreaming or in waking states for accessing more information. Simply ask a question, meditate with the crystal or put it under your pillow and ask for the answers to come in your dreams. Um, if you want to amplify the properties of the crystal even further, I would use apophyllite, not selenite, in water and put it next to your bed in unmarked glass and ask for it to, you know, holding it in your non-dominant hand, asking for it to show up with whatever answers that you need in your dreams and putting it by your nightstand and when you wake up in the morning drinking that water. Selenite, you don't want to put in water. It is a much softer stone and it can do some damage there and you don't definitely don't want to drink that water with the selenite in it. But that's what I recommend with the Apophyllite. It's also really great for lucid dreaming. Most of you guys have been following me for a while and I've been talking about that for years. But anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me as always. And until next time, I'm singing so much bliss in your direction.